this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we're going to be stamping onto our multifarious card today. This is um, just an A6 size and we've got, we're going to do a little C seam. So we've got our fish and we've got some seaweed and we've got some bubbles and our little fish there. So a nice, quick, easy card that's going to be bright and full of colour, hopefully, anyway. Okay, so I am going to start with our big fish. He's going to be the focal point. So taking our nocturne. And inking up, we're going to pop him round about there. And then taking the seaweed. I'm going to ink that up in the twilight. Okay, so let's just make a start with the painting now. So I've got a nice fine brush and I've got our watered down brushes here. So I'm going to start with a nice light colour and just work my way around the edge. Okay, so now I've dampened that down with a nice pale colour, I'm going to start bringing in slightly stronger colours. And let's bring in a little bit of the pink as well. Now all I'm doing is just letting the brushes just work with the water. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to dry this now. So many different ways you can use brushes, but I must admit I do love painting with them. fish and some bubbles here so I've got my fish and I'm going to ink this up in warm breeze and I think that colour looks fabulous against all the other bright colours. So I'm going to go with a medieval blue as well. I'm going to stamp off first. And one or two of them I won't stamp off. Just getting the balance right. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to add some bubbles. And this time I'm going to use the twilight. And I'm just going to pop a few of those about as well. So using the smoothie now, I'm going to go around the edge of the card. And just by muting some of these colours down at the bottom, it pulls your eye into the centre. Okay, so we've got our white jelly roll pen here I'm just going to pull the bubbles out a little it's about just paying attention to that detail it really does make all the difference I think we're ready for some uh, glitter now. Let me find my glue pen. Now this is where it's going to really stand out. So I'm just going to take my time again with all the detail on the fish as I want the glitter to cover all these spots and then I'm also going to just edge the bubbles And now let's pick our glitter. This may be, we'll go with the mermaid. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that over the whole thing. And 
look how vibrant that is, that scene. And that's just done with brushes. But look how the glitter just brings it to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demo, guys. Something a little bit different again. Something a bit more vibrant than what I would normally do. It's always good to step outside your comfort zone sometimes. Thanks for watching, guys. You take care and we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.